Yeah, Baza YouTube, how's it going everybody? Got for you guys today something a little bit different, something I don't normally do. Uh, so earlier today, uh, there was new Sun and Moon info, and I'm not gonna lie to you guys, that this info actually is probably the most excited I've been uh, since seeing all the new Sun and Moon info. And this is actually my first official Sun and Moon video, so yeah, I would really like to know what you guys thought about all the new information that was shown today. That's actually what I'm gonna be talking about. I'm gonna be talking about my own thoughts and opinions and stuff that may possibly happen for the few of you who do watch this i do appreciate it i may do more of these in the future i don't know like i said this is my first real one so uh let me know how you guys like it and like i said let me know what you guys think about all this awesome new information i have a couple screenshots here that i'm gonna be loading up for you guys also i really really like this image uh that was drawn for me i'm, I'm not been able to use this before i think uh, but it's a pretty cool a little image anyways i'm i'm getting off topic uh yeah, so first off, as you can see here, we have Sil... Is, is it Silvoli? Um, formerly known as Type Null. This is actually what it evolves into, and it has the ability RKS system. And obviously, uh, some people have figured this out by now, but of course, uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, the proper pronunciation of Arceus is Arceus. So, RKS system, Arceus system. So I think that's kind of cool. Um, I, I don't know if I really like this design over type null I mean I guess it's kind of cool that we do get to see how it looks like but I kind of like the mysterious aspect of type null as opposed to a uh, silverly but I mean it doesn't look bad and it also has uh, the ability uh, to uh, change types depending on what item it holds obviously that is the same to uh, Arceus itself with uh, it being able to change types depending on what type of plate it holds and it also has a new move called uh, multi-attack if I'm not mistaken uh, where it also changes types depending on which item it's held and actually looking over all of these uh, I'm assuming this is water and this is flying these two are probably my my favorite ones right now uh, the orange one doesn't look too bad pink looks nice I'm guessing that's fairy and this is psychic or this is fairy and that's psychic um, oh no th maybe this is fairy I don't know but yeah the purple one looks nice too okay anyways <laughs> this is I'm actually pretty excited uh, to see how civilly will do in competitive play um, for those of you obviously you guys who are know my channel know that I'm mostly a quote-unquote competitive player so I'm really really excited to try this out in competitive play and hoping that maybe it's not ubers but maybe it'll be like uh, OU or UU potentially I think they said that it got uh, a bit of a speed boost if I'm not mistaken and a bit of an attack boost so uh, we'll see how that develops and how that will uh, go down so moving down we have uh, Haka I, I don't know I have no idea how to pronounce this Haka Muo Muo Ko Komo Uo Wo Wo they are the evolution of the other little little Pokemon the little dinosaur one and I actually I really really like this evolution line I like the combination of dragon and fighting if I'm not mistaken that's probably the first time uh, that we've seen dragon and fighting as a typing together although its abilities I'm not too huge on its abilities but the design the design is so awesome I really really like how Komo O O Ko Komo -mo -o, o I I don't I don't know how to pronounce it but I really really love how the design looks it kind of reminds me of Archeops I don't know why I guess the tail and how the arms are like if Archeops just kind of landed on the ground I guess it wouldn't like stand up straight I don't know but it looks really cool I'm really hoping this is gonna be a pretty pretty good and competitive play as well the abilities aren't too bad I kind of wish it had a new ability maybe like tough claws would have been pretty cool uh, then again this does get a new move um, as you can see here it's called clanging scales which from the looks of it looks to be like a special move so maybe it'll be more of a special attacker than a physical attacker which would kind of suck because uh, unless it gets like Focus Blast, Aura Sphere, or Vacuum Wave, then it being part fighting doesn't really matter. But it having Soundproof does protect it from Hyper Voice, which I guess is, is a plus for Mega Gardevoir. If uh, this turns out to be OU, or for UU, uh, for Sylveon if it turns out to be UU. But regardless, I'm definitely going to be trying this out and in Wi-Fi battles and, um, and just battling in general. Just, I'm so excited to use this. Like I'm saying, like... Instead of me thinking more about like the gameplay and stuff, which I know I'm going to enjoy, I'm thinking about how these Pokemon are going to do in competitive play and how well uh, they're going to verse 
and then how they're gonna turn out to be a couple months later after it's all started because the beginning of a new gen for battling is, is so hectic and just it's really really awesome so I'm so excited for the for the crazy stuff to come as next off we have Dini and Tessarina. I hope I didn't butcher those names. Also, Tessarina has a pretty cool new ability called Queenly Magistry. I wonder if this is just going to be an all-female Pokemon. I'm pretty sure Lilligan is just an all-female Pokemon, if I'm not mistaken. Because I, I don't think Lilligan can be a male. So maybe this is just an all-female Pokemon as well. But if it is a male, then I guess having uh, the sole ability named Queenly Majesty uh, is a little bit funny. But the... Cool thing about this ability is that it apparently stops uh, priority moves. Oops, sorry, spoiler there for a new move here called Trop Kick, which is actually kind of cool. We got, uh, instead of getting a Grass Elemental Punch move, we got a Grass Elemental Grass uh, Kicking, Grass Kicking move. <laughs> which I guess is kind of cool, but I was... I would rather have had a Grass Punch as opposed to Grass Kick, but as you can see from Tessarini, she can't exactly use her hands very well, so it's only fair enough that they would give her a Kick move over a Fighting move. But Queenly Majesty may actually be really, really good if this uh, turns out to be a pretty good setup mod, because late game, obviously a good way to finish off a Pokemon that's set up late game is to pick it off with priority but with this being able to stop priority and if it has something like maybe Quiver Dance or Calm Mind. Uh, Swords Dance maybe even or if it just has a high special attack or physical attack stat in general This thing could turn out to be really really awesome uh, the design I don't really know how I like the design uh, to be honest with you guys, but hey um, It's nice I guess I don't know I don't know let me know what you guys think about it uh, down below Trop Kick I do like the animation for this move though I think it looks pretty cool uh, next off we have another new Pokemon in Ribombi um, I don't know if this could be just like a single stage Pokemon. Maybe it evolves into something. I really want to say it evolves into something like how Combi evolved into Vespaquin. Maybe this uh, Ribombi will evolve into something like uh, Vespa Ribom King. I don't know. <laughs> like Combi Vespaquin. Maybe this is just an all male Pokemon that can evolve into a, uh, something. You guys get what I'm trying to say. Something like Vespaquin. Uh, with Shield Dust and Honey Gather. I don't see how how useful this one is really going to be, so I'm hoping that it does get a final evolution. The design is pretty cute, I guess. I mean, Bug Fairy, I think that's... this Is this the, bur the first Bug Fairy that we've had? I really want to say this is the first Bug Fairy that we've had. I'm not, I'm not too sure. I'm trying to remember, but I can't think of any off the top of my head. But yeah, this is, uh, this is a cute little mod. Uh, if it turns out to be... If it's evolution or possible evolution turns out to be pretty good or good enough, then I'm definitely going to tried to have this mod and next oh my lord this this is probably uh the most exciting thing that uh got me hyped for sun and moon out of this trailer and just really wanted me to to get into this and just oh i really 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 love how ala alola muck looks like i love the fact that the colors um change if you saw the trailer then you will see that the colors uh, change from Muck, like they, they run down and up from it. And instead of it just being like this, uh, the yellow will go down to where the pink is, and the pink will go down to the green, and just buy, and just keep going like that. It's, just, it's so cool. Uh, I don't know how I feel about the stones, though. I feel like that's a little bit odd, but I can kind of see why it would be thrown in there. I wonder why it became part dark, because if I'm not mistaken, Eradicate was also um, gone from a rat, from a normal type to a dark type. So... Maybe it's something in the trash. Who knows? Maybe there's something wrong with the Alolaa trash that's making all these Pokemon that typically would eat trash or waste turn into dark types. Maybe making them bad Pokemon and tie into the story somehow. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think below. A uh, Poison Touch and Gluttony. I kind of wish that I got another ability as opposed to Gluttony. But Gluttony is kind of cool because it does mean that it can use uh, something like Salak Berry or... Um, What's uh, uh, the plus speed berry or the plus attack berry that I can't remember the name specifically off the top of my head. Although I do know one of them is a Salak Berry, which I think Salak Berry is plus speed. Um, so I could get like plus one speed. But I wonder what kind of stat boost it will have if, it, if it'll have any. Uh, maybe it'll get a new move. Uh, it, the fact that it actually, if I'm not mistaken, I think Muck does learn Sucker Punch. Or am I thinking Eradicate? I know Eradicate learns Sucker Punch. And Muck can learn Shadow Sneak. So maybe it'll get 
um, some nice stab on some dark type moves. But I really, really like how uh, Alola Muck looks. I don't really know how I feel about Grimer. I don't really care about Grimer. I mean, it looks okay. If anything, I'll probably just get a Grimer to get a Muck because this thing looks absolutely awesome. I absolutely, absolutely love this and love how it looks. Uh, next off, uh, there was a new uh, Kahuna. Uh, uh, person revealed honestly I haven't really looked too much into uh, like the new gym system and stuff but as you can see here we have a new trainer uh, known as Olivia which I'm assuming that you have to beat her to uh, get what the new um, because instead of gyms there's like there's gonna be trials and stuff now for those of you who don't know I'm sure everybody knows at this point but like I said I haven't really looked too much into it but yeah let me know what you guys think about her uh, apparently she may be a rock type uh, trainer because she does have a nose pass so that would be kind of interesting so let me know what you guys think about her and then the last new uh, information that was revealed was this new character uh, Lima I want to say that's how you pronounce his name he looks a little bit sketchy like if he turned out to be a bad guy in the actual game like I wouldn't be surprised at all I would have been like you can just look at him and tell that he's kind of a sketchy dude that's that's really it guys I'm really really excited for this information I really like how uh, the silver leaf colors look like here but I did like type law a little bit better but hey who knows maybe uh, silver leaf will be a monster Koma Uo is Koma Mamamu is really really cool again absolutely love the design and hoping that it is a um, actually it could be a, a mixed attacker like Archeops that would be pretty cool that wouldn't be bad at all actually I really like how the design of this move is uh, Tesserini could be a really good late game sweeper depending on how things go in the uh, meta and then a uh, real bone B I'm really hoping it's an evolution uh, hopefully it turns out to be really really cool because this thing is pretty cute it, it would actually be kind of funny if the evolution of this turned out to be like a like something scary looking or like terrifying I think that would be really really awesome and I would probably want to use this just because of that and then of course I'm definitely getting me a grimer like muck is most likely gonna be on my team like Rowlet and Muck so far are like what's gonna be on my Sun and Moon team so far because I really really love how this looks I don't know why I like it so much but it just it looks really really awesome and I'm really excited for this and then Olivia uh, from the looks of it may be a, a rock type trainer and Lima who knows he could maybe be a bad guy like uh, just being a trial captain trying to get information for Team Skull. So who knows? Uh, that would be a great little curveball in there, I think, for them to throw in. But yeah, guys, uh, please let me know what you uh, think about all this new information and how you feel about Sun and Moon. Like I said, uh, like I said, maybe doing these more or not, uh, just depending on how excited I am for news. Like I said, this is this is the only news that that has got me excited to the point where I wanted to make a video. So. Who knows what will come out next and just the game is so close and just oh I'm really really excited so yeah hopefully uh, Sun and Moon will be great and uh, everybody, ah, I'm so excited I don't, I don't know what to say I don't know what to say I'm gonna stop talking I'm gonna stop talking I'm gonna calm down drink some water and just yeah let me know what you guys think let me know what you guys think <laughs> later everybody thank you all for watching.